Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabe with the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Once again, thank you guys who are liking, commenting, and most of all, subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. So, came across a story today. Uh, Lamar Jackson is working on his uh, mechanics, and the Ravens are enthusiastic about his progress. Now, I feel like we get this story pretty much every offseason with Lamar Jackson because every offseason he comes back a better player than the year before. So him working on his mechanics really shouldn't be any uh, kind of shock or surprise. But I think this offseason, the real step is him working with the uh, QB coach he's working with. Now, he's worked with, I believe, Tom House in, Tom House in, the, uh, in the past, who's worked with like guys like uh, Tom Brady and things like that. But now he's working with a guy named Adam the Doe. I think that's how you say his last name. But you can see this guy um, in a lot of Lamar's Instagram and Twitter videos. He usually has like a hat and sunglasses on. Um, but this guy apparently is getting Lamar's mechanics on track. And I think the th biggest thing with Lamar and his mechanics was not that they were bad or loose or all over the place. It's that he was inconsistent. Sometimes his base wouldn't be right when he's throwing the ball. Other times he'll do, you know, that famous sidearm motion but he would do it unnecessarily. You know, it, it, it's one thing when the defender's hand is up here and you gotta, you know, whip it around the defender, but he was kind of just doing it to do it, you know? So this guy see, is seemingly getting Lamar on track to have a great year and getting him more consistent in, um, in his mechanics. So, and then I think about, you know, the Ravens and their, the fact that they're pleased with the progress. That just shows me, once again, they're committed to Lamar Jackson being a quarterback of this team. Now, his contract is going to be the main thing that comes up anytime you talk about Lamar Jackson, right? Why hasn't he signed? Why hasn't he signed? And I'm, not, and I'm really thinking it's just because he hasn't signed because he wants to play another year and possibly win a championship and then sign. And also, he's made more money by not signing, if we're being completely honest. I mean... The QB contracts are going up and up and up. Uh, somebody like Deshaun Watson getting a fully guaranteed deal. He's made a wise decision by holding off and stepping back. When everybody was saying, oh, he doesn't have an agent, what is he doing? He's actually made a good move in, uh, from, from the contract standpoint. So with Lamar Jackson and his mechanics, I think the biggest thing that gets overblown was that he was a bad passer or that he needed to get so much better at passing that now, oh, this is when his game goes to the next level. But if you watch Lamar Jackson, every year since his rookie season, he's learned to become a better passer. Now, I think the last step for Lamar, like I said earlier, is consistency. If if this QB coach can get Lamar to be consistent in his mechanics, that we don't get unnecessary sidearm throws, that we don't get the base not right, then we got then we got Lamar Jackson MVP again, honestly. So I thought that this story was interesting that they they put it out there and that, and that the Ravens are enthusiastic about this progress. I mean, why wouldn't they be? He's the franchise guy, so his work ethic is proving that he's a franchise player, man. This guy Lamar, he works constantly in the off season, and I think that's a big big sign, man, because like. I remember Joe Flacco, right? Not saying Joe Flacco didn't work in the offseason, but we know with Joe Flacco in the offseason, he wasn't pulling his guys to come work out with him. We didn't see nothing with Joe Flacco. I'm not saying that if we don't see it, you're not working. I'm not saying that. But with Lamar, he's pulling guys, people to work with him, James Prochet, Rashad Bateman. They're coming out to work with him. It just seems like he's more intent on getting better. And this guy is showing that, He's the franchise. He's the franchise piece. He's the franchise player, and that he's gonna do everything in his power to be the best possible player coming up next season. So, seeing that article got me excited. Uh, I'm excited about Lamar and his continued progress. Every season, I mean, every time a season ends with Lamar Jackson, I expect him to get better the next season because that's all he's ever done since he's been in the league is get better. So. Um, I just wanted to drop this quick little video about Lamar Jackson and his mechanics getting better. Um, in the comments, tell me your predictions for Lamar Jackson as far as passing. I'm thinking somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000 yards. 
and another 20 to 25, another 25 to 30 touchdowns. That's what I'm thinking for Lamar this year, man. Uh, it's your boy Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.